In this e-log tutorial, we will explain the vehicle bus or V-bus connection between the e-log tablet and the truck. This tutorial uses many acronyms, so let us begin by reviewing several of these. CAN Controller Area Network This is a network of small controller computers. BUS Short for Omnibus, this term refers to data communication systems that transfer data between computers or components within a computer. VBUS Vehicle bus, also known as CAN bus, refers to the controller area network bus on a vehicle. ECM, engine control module. This is the main computer on a vehicle that controls engine and drivetrain functions. HOS, hours of service. This generally refers to truck driving hours logging requirements and rules. ELD, electronic logging device. This generally refers to the new e-log hours of service rules and implies specialized electronic hardware added to the truck to implement these new rules. AOBRD Automatic Onboard Recording Device This refers to e-log systems that were in place before the ELD mandate went into effect. These systems are generally not compliant with ELD rules. VIN Vehicle Identification Number This is a worldwide 17-character unique ID method applied to every manufactured vehicle. RPM, revolutions per minute, a measurement of rotational speed of an engine. BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. This is a short distance wireless communication system for small computers. Compliant ELD systems are required to fetch specific data directly from the ECM of a truck. This data includes odometer, RPM, speed, engine hours, and VIN. The eLog app running on your tablet needs to establish a connection with the ELD hardware on the truck to receive the required ECM data. When you first install the eLog app on a tablet, you will see the third icon from the top right appearing as a square with an X through it. This icon indicates that the eLog app is not connected to any ELD hardware. You may also see a yellow bar across the top with a connect button on the right side. This yellow bar is not always displayed so be sure to inspect the third icon from the right in the action bar along the top of the eLog app. Tap on the icon showing the square with an X. This is the same as tapping the connect button on the yellow bar. The following screen opens. At this point you want to perform the manual connection procedure to establish connection with the ELD hardware. Tap the manual connection button. A screen is displayed which shows a list of available types of ELD hardware. Your eLog account may be set up to already pre-select the ELD hardware type and may not show this screen at all. Track M2M uses either Geometris or IO6 ELD hardware. This information is available from your supervisor if you're not sure which hardware type to select. Once the hardware type has been selected, tap the next button in the lower right corner. On the next screen, the eLog app will attempt to discover Bluetooth devices that are in range. If multiple devices are listed, the device appearing at the top of the list has the strongest radio signal, so this is most likely to be the device in your truck. Other devices lower in the list may be coming from nearby trucks. If there is uncertainty about which device in this list should be selected, your supervisor will have a list of which device serial number belongs with which truck. If the ELD hardware device in your truck is already connected to another tablet or phone, its serial number will not appear in this list. An ELD hardware device can only be connected to one tablet or phone. Tap on the serial number of the device to make a connection with this device. A successful connection process will show three green check marks and then the screen will disappear. Notice that the third icon from the right in the action bar along the top is now showing the radio wave symbol. This icon indicates that the eLog app is currently connected to the ELD hardware. After you have established a connection by the manual connection procedure, the eLog app will remember this connection and attempt to perform this connection automatically each time the system is powered on. On most days, this automatic connection will succeed and it is not necessary to perform a manual connection. However, occasionally the automatic connection will fail or time out. If this automatic connection is not working for any reason, use the manual connection procedure to reset the connection. If you are curious to see the VBUS signals coming from the truck, you can tap on the radio wave icon and then look for the debug button. Tap the debug button to open a screen where you can view the ECM data coming from the truck. In this example, the device is not connected to any truck, so the ECM data is showing as blank. You can check if the ECM data is reading correctly. 
In some cases, an odometer offset may be required for a particular truck. Contact Track M2M support if the odometer requires adjustment or if any other data is showing incorrectly. Another situation you may experience is where you need to drive a truck that is unfamiliar, such as a rental vehicle, and this truck does not have ELD hardware installed. It is acceptable to use paper logs for this situation, but it is also possible to continue using your e-log. First, ask your supervisor or track M2M support to help you with setting up a vehicle profile to describe the unfamiliar truck. Then you can refresh the app and select this truck from the list. You can use the e-log system for recording your log, but you will need to switch to driving duty status and on duty status manually while using this truck because the e-log app will not be able to automatically sense the vehicle movement. 